Selling your products in the U.S. means meeting the FDA's quality standards. In this module, we'll learn about CFR Part 820, Quality Management Systems, we'll discuss the FDA's take on other regions' quality policies, and a little bit on quality inspections. The implementation of a quality management system is the second step in bringing your device to market in the U.S. The FDA requires medical device manufacturers to have a quality system in place which complies with the Code of Federal Regulations, or 21 CFR Part 820. It has other names as well. Some refer to it as the Good Manufacturing Practice, or GMP, but most know it as QSR, Quality System Regulation. This is similar to ISO 13485 in Europe in that it's the standards for quality which medical device manufacturers must adhere in order to sell their goods. However, the FDA does not recognize ISO 13485 as a suitable quality standard. This means even if you are currently selling your product in Europe or other regions that go by ISO 13485, you still must comply with FDA's QSR. The FDA does not require quantifiable proof of your QSR compliance. They do, however, reserve the right to inspect your operation at any time and anywhere. The review includes both a broad review of whether your procedures are in place or not, and a closer detailed review of some records to verify that the requirements have been implemented in actual production, design, and daily quality assurance situations. If the FDA inspects your company and finds it to be out of compliance, they can issue a Form 483 and warning letter. The FDA has the power to prevent companies from selling in the U.S. market if they are found to be out of compliance. A quality management system, or QMS, is nothing to be taken lightly. Major nonconformities to QSR can result in a product recall or market withdrawal. The FDA associates a solid and well-designed QMS with the products themselves. If time and care has been asserted in establishing the QMS, it is reflected in the end product. Regulators look for a well-established QMS as well. Consistency is key in the regulatory world, and a QMS exemplifies this. This page displays the 15 subparts of the quality system regulation and pretty much outlines what must be included in your quality management system. Use it as a checklist to ensure you meet with the current good manufacturing practice. As you can see, documentation, including procedures, process controls, and records are highly regarded and make up a majority of your quality system. The entire process for creating your QMS is very important and you must be very thorough. More information can be found on Emergo Group's website. Probably one of the best measures you can take is to have a third party conduct a mock FDA inspection. Having this done by a third party is always best because they will identify issues that you might have overlooked. A mock inspection, if done correctly, will ensure you're on the right track. It's never easy to take criticism from an unknown party, but remember this, better to be told your system is not ready by them than by the FDA. That brings us to the end of this module. In it, we were introduced to the QSR and learned about FDA's stance on ISO 13485. We also went over quality system inspections. In our next module, we'll touch on product testing and clinical data requirements.